Hello friends, in this video I will make a full restoration of this vintage Walkman. Let's begin. First of all, let me tell you about this Walkman. It was made approximately 30 years ago and that time was a piece of the art. This price was approximately 200 euros and if it's in very good shape you can uh, sell it with the same price now for collectors. So it has auto reverse use uh, two of these uh, small batteries or uh, rechargeable batteries it has uh, equalizer it's very very slim it has hold button now let's make some tests you will see the problem is with this belt because it's very very old the belt is too long and, and it's not making enough grip. Let me show you. To make it work I have to press this switch here because otherwise it will not start. So I will press this switch and this is the play button. As you can see the motor is turning but uh, this wheel is not turning. Let's take out this original belt. As you can see it's very very soft. I wanted to buy exactly the same type of belt but I didn't found and I have to make some DIY project. I bought a lot of belt like this from China. It's from 4 centimeters to 15 centimeters. And I found one the same side with this. But uh, as you can see, this one are square belts. And this one it's round and it's very small width. And this original one was too big. And uh, when I put here was friction with the case. And that's why I made this improvement. I took a square belt. I put it here in this old part. So, I took a square belt, I put here in this uh, old mechanical part, I put 10 volts on this motor and I put a <sighs> an abrasive piece like this here. As you can see, it's working. I repeated this operation few minutes and uh, I turned uh, with 90 degrees. To take all the four corners 
and now as you can see this is original square uh, belt and this is one made around you can see the difference now let's put this new belt and make some tests when you want to make a restoration like this it's better to make a picture before to take the old belt to know exact position to put the new belt back it was a little difficult for me Be because I didn't take pictures and I had to make a lot of tests Now I put the belt and as you can see there is enough grip. I forgot to mention that I made uh, some scratches on this uh, motor wheel. And with uh, scratches on this wheel I made a uh, added grip to the belt I hope that you can see it here there are grips there are scratches on this metal wheel now let's make some tests As you can see now everything works perfect. And because uh, didn't was any tape inside, auto reverse mechanism turn from uh, side to another side because didn't detect any tape. Something very important that I want you to show is uh, this is another Iowa Walkman with auto reverse and uh, as you can see this is the main motor and uh, these wheels are giving the speed of the tape and uh, they are different uh, diameters as you can see this one is smaller and this one is bigger this one is uh, 90.5 millimeters let's make this this is diameters and here as you can see there is a two millimeters difference so what i wanted to tell you 
This uh, motor turns only one way because as you can see these wheels are turning in uh, opposite uh, direction. But this one, this uh, it's met metal parts and it's a better quality than these plastic parts. But on this uh, model, as you can see, these wheels are turning in the same direction. And that means that if you want to change direction of the tape, you have to change direction of the motor. But this one with same direction of the motor, it's making uh, both uh, direction of playing. But the main difference is uh, this model, it's manual. You have to press it manual. And uh, this model, it's completely automated. You have to push this button and we'll take all this. Uh. Now let's put back and make some uh, tape tests. Now I will press this uh, switch and I will press play button. As you can see it's working perfect. If you want to restore a device like this, you have to clean these wheels also because they are very important. Now let's make a tape test. Tape is automatically pressing that switch. Now let's press play. And as you can see now it's working perfectly. And it's not changing direction because recognize the tape. Now let's reverse the direction. As you can see opposite direction it's working perfect. Now let's uh, check the other function. Rewind it's working and fast forward. It's working as well. Now I just have to put uh, everything together and put the, these small screws on their places. I made also test with headphone and the sound is hi-fi, it's very high quality and uh, 
its linear speed. Now I've put everything together and let's make some final tests. As you can see it's working. Now let's reverse side. The sound quality is very good, but I cannot play because of copyrights. YouTube doesn't allow me to play copyright music. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you like it, please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.